So I'm out here on Chuckanut, Washington, right on the water. The only person here. First prints in the snow. If you look down there, that's the ocean. All right, on our way to the Oyster Dome. It's on Chuck Nut Drive. First boot path of the day. Holy smokes. <laughs> right off the bat, we got an obstacle to go through. Let's go through it together. All right. There you go. That's the first one. Oh, this one's not so bad. Holy smokes, put that rock there. For, for who does not know that the Oyster Dome is one of my favorite hikes. You get to see all the San Juan Islands, the places where I grew up, adventured. It's not the hardest of hikes, but the views are rewarding. There's Lily and Lizard Lake on the backside that you can camp at. They do hold trout if you're into some fishing, sightseeing, this is a trail for you.
Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Oh man. Well, this is one of the lookouts. This is as far as you make it. It's pretty rewarding, especially on a clear day. <coughs> Probably cast a line from here. I just keep pushing to the top. If you're still here watching it with me, which I hope you are, this is a fun one. I am at the uh, Samish Overlook turnoff, and I am hiking on the Chuck and the Drive trail. So what I'm trying to say is, is you can take this trail or even park at the end of it and hike from there to this point and beyond. It's called the Samish Overlook. You can access that from I-5. South Lake Sam. If you're ever curious, come try this hike for yourself. But we're just going to keep going right beyond it. Not do that today. I do have film from years ago, and I'll go ahead and roll that footage for you. Anybody that is an outdoor adventurous knows here in the Northwest you're bound to run across tons of creeks almost anywhere you go. So bring in water purifier just in case it's a smart idea. I should listen to what I have to say. All right, let's keep going. So, the first GoPro has died. It's the uh, GoPro Hero 9. Thanks, Grandpa. And I'm using the Hero 6, I believe, from Grandpa. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Dan. Beautiful pieces of equipment. Stabilization mode is on point. Oh. I'll tell you what, I'm going to start bringing a carabiner and a sweat rag because once your glasses start fogging up, you just wish you had one. If you keep moving, it's not so bad. But that's what I get for wearing glasses. We're almost to the top. Well, we won't be doing that. This is my second time ever wearing gators and micro spikes. If you don't already have a pair, 
should definitely get a pair. World of difference. Drier, warmer. You don't slip as much. Plus, a pair of trekking poles. Gotta stay in shape for the summer. Got big plans for 2022. We're we'll doing a lot of alpine fishing, mountaineering. But you know, for now, you need to slow down and enjoy today. So right behind me, you got the Lily and Lizard Lake turnoff right there. I recommend going, especially if you're into fishing. Just keep going, you're almost there. I know you can't see it, but it says caution 2020 and 2021. Sums it up right about there. Keep going. Whoa. Wow. Holy smokes. Feels good to be the first one to wreck the snow up here. Oh. That's ah, cold. Mm. It's just amazing. Samus Island right there in front of us. Try not to slip and fall. I'm trying to get a photo here. Alright, time to get off this mountain.